first, the injury of others and the seizure of their weapons, including machine guns and sniper rifles. Armenians also announced full control of the wall of Basel in Daria, an area which the terrorists have used to start their terrorist crimes against the army and the citizens. In a successful operation, units of our armed forces set up ambushes to secure the movement of the back fronts forward. Dozens of the terrorists were killed, while others were arrested and their weapons seized. Syrian Arab army units also raided terrorist hideouts in Daria farms, killing large numbers of them. Policemen at a Zabadani area in Damascus countryside confronted terrorist groups who tried to attack the directorate of the area. A source in the Interior Ministry said that the policemen repelled the terrorists and no casualties were reported. Among the policemen in then Homs, a unit of our armed forces, confronted armed dress groups that tried to attack two police checkpoints in the neighborhoods of Souq al ghanam and al muhtaria last night inflicting heavy casualties among the terrorists. The terrorists were from al nusra Front, which, which is affiliated to Al-Qaeda, but our armed forces were there to face them, killing and injuring many, and forcing the rest to run away. Another Syrian ar army unit destroyed a terrorist hideout in Hoshkaflan in a Rustan countryside, killing many of the terrorists and injuring many others. Among those killed there was the terrorist Mohammed Suleiman Mansour. In Arrastan, a disagreement between two terrorist groups on distributing what they have looted led to fighting among the terrorists, killing and injuring many of them. Meanwhile, a bus carrying passengers on the international road of Damascus, Aleppo, came under fire by snipers from terrorists near Talbise, injuring two passengers at dawn today. In Hama countryside, a unit of the Syrian Arab army eliminated a terrorist group that tried to attack the town of Aqraba. Among the terrorists killed, there was three leaders of what's called al Farouk Brigade, which is affiliated to Al-Qaeda. Meanwhile, Armenians dismantled four rocket launchers that were used by the terrorists on the road of Homs Hama to target residential areas around. After several days of complete silence, Aqab Saqar, the Lebanese MB from Al Mustaqbal Current, admitted his involvement in the conspiracy against Syria, admitting the authenticity of the reports published by the Lebanese paper Al Akhbar and telecast by the OTV channel. The reports gave details of his contact and conversations with the terrorist groups who he sent money and weapons to. Aqab Saqar has been absent from Lebanon for a long time now. He claimed that his acts were in Lebanon's interest. Al Akhbar newspaper quoted sources close to Saqqar that he would resort to devious tactics to protect himself. He said he was personally responsible for his act. He thus contradicted a previous statement in which he admitted that all his steps were supervised and well known in advance by his chief Saleh Hariri.